Today we're talking about the track bar control and the main track bar properties we're going to look at is value which is probably the most important property and also maximum at tick style, tick frequency, cursor, large change and small change and also look at the track bar event scroll. And a lot of ways the track bar is like the progress bar we looked at previously and that the maximum is sort of the maximum value you can see on it. But the difference between the track bar and the progress bar is that you, the, it's meant for the user to interact with the track bar. The user drags the track bar around to create an effect or go to some place or something along those lines. So I couldn't find track bar on the common controls, but it's in the uh, all controls area. So if we drag this over to our form and then resize it to uh, to be large enough to see things, really. Maybe move it up a bit. And first thing we want to do is set the maximum, which defaults to 10, to 100. And one thing you can fool around with is the tick style. And you notice the default tick style is at the bottom right. And the shape of the slide is sort of a, a, squ a square or a rectangle with an arrow pointing down. But you can change this to uh, like top left and that'll put the ticks along the top with the arrow pointing up. Or you can change it to both which at first I didn't like both because it's just a rectangle with no pointer but it's kind of growing on me. Maybe I'll stick with the both. And then another thing we wanted to look at is tick frequency which is one and that's okay. And the concept of small change and uh, large change. And small change is basically what you get if you press the arrow keys on the keyboard. And why don't we change that to a 5 since we have a lot bigger uh, maximum. And then the large change <coughs> is what you click, what you get if you click on either side of the slide on the bar. And uh, let's change that to 20. And then the last thing really to look at is the cursor, which is what the cursor looks like when it's over the, uh, the track bar. And I kind of like the uh, the what they call the size WE, which I assume is size west east, because it kind of shows that you're moving the slide from side to side. If it were a, a vertical orientation, so that the track bar was up and down, I'd probably change it to size uh, north south. But as it is. And then let's give this some meaningful name like uh, TRB for track bar progress and Hungarian notation. And then I also want to drag over a text box. Let's see, where is the text box? There we go. And make this a fairly large font. Maybe call it a txt progress and make the font like I don't know 24 and then we ought to select both these hold down the control key to select the track bar the buttons already selected and do a center on the form. Well, I don't think that worked. Maybe I'll try just selecting that, doing a center, selecting this, doing a center. I think that was already pretty centered. And give this a meaningful name. Oh, it's already got a meaningful name. Okay, I think we're in pretty good shape. And essentially what I want to do is when the form first loads, I'll set the value in the text box.
to 50. And then set the uh, value of the uh, track bar to 50. Just to show how that works. That you can both set the value and read the value. Probably more significant to read the value than to set it. And then for the default uh, event for a track bar, it's scroll. So if I just double click on the track bar, I'll get the scroll event. And what I want to do with the scroll event is set the, uh, the text box uh, text equal to the track bar value. And of course I have to change that to string in order for it to be a good text. And that's actually probably enough. So why don't we save this and run it. And you notice the value in the text box is 50 and it's in the center since there's 100. And whenever I move the cursor over this, it has the uh, double arrow. And if I click on this side, it goes down by 20. And I click on this side, it goes up by 20 for our large change. And if I use the arrow keys on the keyboard, it goes down by 5 or up by 5. And then you can also click on the slide itself and just move it just one increment at a time with holding the mouse down. And you can use the scroll bar, but interestingly the scroll bar always does three. It increments by or increments or decrements by three. So that's three ways you can manipulate the track bar and cause the corresponding value in the uh, text box to change. And the next video we're going to look at a lot more practical application for a track bar. But I thought it'd be good to just have an introduction to the track bar by itself. I hope you uh, enjoyed this video and learned a lot. And I'd appreciate it if you'd subscribe.